Hi, Floss Tube. I'm a single stitchy misfit. No clinkies, because in case you failed to miss, Hanan's not here. She didn't turn into my pusheen blanket in the back. Let me move this way. There's my pusheen blanket. So if you follow us on Instagram, we posted recently that we're taking a bit of a hiatus, uh, and that's mainly due to our summer schedule and we usually just have a lot going on we both have really full lives and we we're still gonna hang out and everything you know there's no there's no misfit schism or anything but sometimes the getting together to record takes it takes a bit of planning and you know one of us has to haul all of our stuff that we want to show off to some one of our locations so um, with that and on top of our pretty busy schedules for summer we're taking we're taking a little bit of a break but I wanted to record even if it's just me I'm sorry you guys only get me today <laughs> but um that way you know we can let you know that things are okay we're just really busy and um, also to show off some of my birthday stuff because I didn't want to you know, let that pass without saying thank you to some of my misfits and friends and everybody like that. So, uh, I'm going to do this like kind of a normal floss tube, except no no tea or coffee reviews. I'm just drinking a Winco bottle of water right now. Not even in a fancy cup. I'm sorry, guys. It's kind of late, and I've had a lot to drink today. So, even if it's me, sometimes I just have to have water. Plus, we worked a lot in our yard today because it's getting to be summer and grass grows a lot in Texas. You wouldn't think so. You'd think it's very dry here, but no, grass grows like crazy. And you have to weed eat and mow and do all sorts of crazy stuff constantly. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, so I did that a lot today, so I'm trying to replenish my fluids here. So I will get right into my whips and what I've been doing for what we're calling Misfit Mania, which is just um, our Stitch and Misfits version of Stitch Mania. So, I'm a little sad. Let me show you my first Mania whip. Mania kind of start. I did a tiny little bit before. But this is my MFE cell. I'm going to get a little bit closer so y'all can see it. So hopefully there's not so much of a glare. So, I've made some progress. But not as much as I hoped I would. Because when I saw Hanan working on hers, hers was working up really fast. So I'm thinking, okay, there's a lot of stitches on this, but it looks like I could really catch up during the month of May. No, I, I can't do that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love working on this. I love the way it's turning out. You can see my... Boris Karloff, the mummy needle minder there that Hanan got me for Christmas. So I like working on this. I love the way it's working up. It's fun to work in single color. And this is just DMC 890. But it's just not working up as quickly as I thought it would. So I see a lot of a lot of my peeps out there in Floss Tube Land who are finishing stuff and making great progress. And I'm still on the border of January. So let this be a lesson to all of us out there, or just a reminder, don't judge your progress against somebody else's. Everybody works differently. Everyone, uh, Hanan claims she's not a speedy stitcher. I beg to differ, Hanan. You're, you're speedy. <laughs> She just said that she got to focus on this a lot, and that's how it got done. And, you know, between work and everything else I have to do, I don't get to focus on it as much. I was hoping to get some more done this weekend, but I only got to touch on it a little bit because I had, again, other stuff I had to do. So, kind of sad, but hopefully soon I will have a weekend where I can just sit down and see what I can get out of that. So... That's my, I don't actually have my other mania start here, which is the watermelon socks. They are somewhere around here. You know, I think I took them to work and might have left them there. Because I'll work on it during my lunch break. But I only have like a little bit done on that. Again, I'm not really happy with how slow things are going right now. I want to see 
finishes and stuff. And I don't know. I just have to be patient, I suppose. So I will show, this isn't, I haven't worked on this for Mania, but I started this before, and this is my Rocky Horror Pixel People. I am really close to done. And as I said on the Bewitch Stitches group, I'm shivering with anticipation. So, I am loving this. This is going to look so cute framed. Oh, I hope you can hear me. I covered up a little bit. Sorry. But yeah, I love this. Now, this DMC Light Effects is like stitching with Satan's armpit hair. It is the worst. This I was really I was really excited to stitch Rocky's little, if you can see it well, his little golden banana hammock there. No. It looks great. I like the way it looks. I really do. I just hated stitching with that crap. So I think next time I might try one of the, um, they call it Petite Treasure Braid or something that's not DMC Light Effects in gold if I ever need to stitch another golden banana hammock. Which I don't see happening too often, but you never know. I stitch all sorts of things. So, I also have, this is kind of a present to myself slash whip, so let me show you what I got started with here. I talked about earlier in the year wanting to try a new craft every month, and I'm a little behind, but I wanted to, this is a new craft I'm trying, I'm trying punch needle embroidery. So, onto the land of Etsy. And I found Doodle Dog Primitives, Doodle Dog Designs. And she has punch needle kits, as well as the punch needle. I got, um, unfortunately I didn't bring the punch needle itself over here, but I got the Cameo punch needle that has um, the three different needles that I could use. Because I, when I was looking into it, I'm like, well, if I really get into punch needle, I don't want to just be limited to one size needle and then have to get other sizes. You know, just having three altogether seemed more reasonable and, and more cost effective. So this is Waiting for Mary. I love this because I love like the little sheep is waiting outside the school and one of my friends, Teresa, her daughter is named Mary and she's my spirit animal. So I had to I had to get Waiting for Mary. And then I went ahead and started this little kit that I got from Doodle Dog came with the weaver's cloth and the dmc and the valdani floss and the pattern already for you so pretty much all i had to go do was get my water soluble pen and a locking hoop and go to town so this is the back side where i can where i kind of traced it and everything you can kind of see it it doesn't look great i'm still learning but i'm pretty happy with the front and it's looking all shaggy and stuff so this was my birthday present to myself, this little kit here, and I'm having fun with it. So, probably get back to this after Mania, because I really want to, even though I'm not making prog too much progress, I want to focus on the MFE Sal during May. I just think that would be smart. Excuse me while I adjust here. Oh, in case you didn't notice, my shirt matches my Rocky Horror Pixel, Pixel People. I got the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Some more birthday stuff that I got at Torrid. I had to have the lips. Everyone loves the lips. So, those are my whips that I've worked on recently. So now I'm going to get into haul slash birthday haul. Because I have a couple things that weren't necessarily birthday specific. I'm bringing my bag over here. <laughs> so, let me first get into show you this, which... There might be a bit of a glare. Let me see if I can adjust it. I got this adorable little board from my local Daiso, which is a, a buck fifty store. It's like um, it's a hundred yen store in Japan. Um, pretty much, pretty much all over Asia, but they started in Japan. And this was like a, just a little four dollar magnetic board. I'm gonna hang up. And I actually have a couple new needle minders on this, even, too. My first one is the Vintage Batman logo. Because, come on, old school Batman. It's, I, even though I obviously didn't grow up in the 60s, I remember watching that as a child. And, you know, you really think it's a serious superhero type show. And I watch it as an adult, and I'm like... 
the hell was I thinking? It is still hilarious and I love it, but you definitely have a different perspective watching it as an adult. And my next one, I'm sorry, this might be a little racy for some, but I've been wanting this needle minder for a while. It is, let me see if I can show you. It is my sexy unicorn man with that butt, and he is peeing a rainbow for you. This, <laughs> this little icon meme picture whatever this had a this had some deeper meaning when i worked at um, my previous job um we this this picture got passed around a lot and it, it was kind of like our unofficial mascot on my old team so i saw that and i believe those are from flying frog stitchery i have to say that really slowly because it'd be flying frog <laughs> and i don't mean to say flying frog but yeah, I got it, and I'd been waiting for her to come out with that needle minder because I saw that she had it a couple months ago and was out of stock. I'm like, please tell me when you get the peen rainbow unicorn man butt back in stock because I need that. It's very important that I got it. So I got it, and I am so happy. Um, another one of my new needle minders, this is actually a present that came in a couple days ago from Miss Maggie, Crafting Korea. Because she knows how much I love Samgupsal and Soju. So Samgupsal is um, is pork belly. And in Korean barbecue, you just grill it table side and you have it with your soju. And it is amazing. So she found these little buttons and made needle minders for me. She also made one for Miss Hanan, which I will give to her later, which is just a pair of um, Korean style shoes. So, love those. Yay. Thank you, Maggie. I have more stuff to show from Maggie, but I just wanted to get the needle minders out of the way. So, what is next? This is also not necessarily birthday stuff, but I know I had said I had dropped um, my monthly fabric cl club through Color and Cotton, and I'm pretty much not doing any monthly club, but I'm finding all these different... Um, fabric dyers and everything that I'm testing out. So this past month I tried Ships Manor because um, I had heard about them before and they posted on their Instagram saying, hey, we have orphans for sale. And I'm like, selling orphans? That sounds horrible. But if you're talking about fabric orphans, that's okay. So I went on there and tried a couple because normally they're, they're normal fabric if you want to get that it has like a four week lead time and I'm like I, I have to really want some fabric to wait four weeks for it so this first one here this is my Joblin Joblin whatever you want to call it I'm called Joblin and it's an 18 by 26 32 count and they just call the color K5 no creative name or anything like that and that's actually it's a little darker in person, but it's actually showing up pretty true on the screen. Isn't that great? Now, I've heard Joblin can be slippery to work with, but I'm still looking forward to working with it because it seems so soft. So I absolutely love this. And I got one more Fabric 2, and this is an Ada. And I actually have a note. I was thinking about doing a certain pattern for this one. But this one is 16 count Ada, 13 by 18, color L01. Oh, look at that. Isn't that crazy? I love those colors. And that's, the blue is a little darker, but that's still coming up fairly true. I don't know, my lighting usually at home sucks, but those turned out pretty okay. Um, I was actually thinking about doing the ghostly mandala. It's by Ink Circles, and it was in one of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween issues a few years back. Sorry, my old lady dog's coming by for some pets and to figure out what the heck I'm doing here. <laughs> so, probably to beg for something, too, because that's what doggies do. So, I got those to try out. And let me see. These, I guess it's not really Cross Stitch haul or anything, but I wanted to talk about them anyway. So, I like using... Um, thread conditioner, but most thread conditioners out there are really just 100% beeswax, and some of them charge a lot for just 100% beeswax, so I started looking around, I'm like, can I just get a regular bar of 
beeswax and just use that. So I went went on to Amazon and I found a lot of different options for organic beeswax and everything like that. And so I got a whole little bag of them. Let me see. That's a that's a lot of glare. Let's see. Yellow beeswax bar, 100% natural. There's like six of these little bars in here. And I've just been, I, I'm i not, I, the one I'm using is over there somewhere, but I've just been rubbing my thread through it, and it's been working really well. I love it, and it doesn't have to be any sort of fancy poured molded beeswax. This is working just fine, and I uh, want to say this, this bag was like $6, and this is like several ounce, they're, they're like one ounce bars of beeswax, there are like six of them. You could get it even cheaper this I just liked them having them in tiny bars in case I wanted to share with somebody or whatnot so I totally recommend that just if you're interested in trying thread conditioner um, just go on Amazon and find find yourself some hundred percent beeswax and I even looked at the reviews on this one and quite a few people said they had used it for cross stitch and embroidery and it worked really well so I was totally confident in that choice so what next here this is actually from today. I just got these in the mail today. And this is the Victorian Motto Regular Floss Club for May. So if you haven't received these yet, this is a spoiler alert. Although she did mention that not everybody necessarily gets the same ones. I think just with as much as she's grown recently, um, she's she might have been running out of certain colors and so was mixing and matching, which is totally cool with me. So even if I show these to you, they, they may be a surprise when yours finally show up. But these are beautiful. And I'm sure these colors are not going to show up really well, but I'm going to try my best, guys. Let me see. This one is Faded Primrose. Yeah, that's, that's not even close. Let me put it up against some white and see that's a little better faded primrose there's a D there's no dmc conversion here but it's beautiful pinkish almost coppery right there my dog's gonna snip it this particular one is i think my favorite from today this is honor flag blue let me try to put it up there but look at that variation it's actually it's actually darker and richer in person it's a super, I would say, yeah, flag, super navy blue with maybe just a touch of midnight blue in it. This is amazing. I think this, this is definitely, I think that's going to be a favorite color like Old Salem Spell was for a lot of people a couple months ago. Um, third color, May Blossoms. And this, this is, this is going to be, sorry, I don't want to, this is an envelope. I don't want to flash my address here. It's kind of a very faded beige with a hint of pink, maybe, is what I'm thinking. But no DMC conversion for that either. I'm sorry, Honor Flag Blue, it says DMC conversion 336 on that one. But that, that doesn't look like any DMC I've ever seen, so it looks better. So next one is Rustic Rose. This one... See if I can get it to show here. It's it's showing pretty well. It's kind of a maybe mauve with a little bit of brown and some rust in it. Hard to um hard to describe. It says DMC conversion 3858. And then my next one is Hyacinth Blooms, which is kind of a, a very very lavendery color. Let me see. It's not, this one's not really showing up well, but think of like a, yeah, pale lavender with maybe a hint of, a hint of baby blue in it. And then the last one, when I was, when I was showing these to Maggie, Craft in Korea, she mentioned she thought this, this and the honor flag blue were her favorites, but this is Prim Mint. And yeah, it's not, this one's not showing up very well at all. This is a very, yeah, light minty pistachio maybe type color. Absolutely gorgeous. So I've been trying, this, this is the only club that I'm currently signed up for, but I might be having to sign up to get some of those prim colors too, just because 
Plus, it's a great deal. It's really not that much per month, especially since I'm not doing a fabric club. So I might, I might just have to do that for June. We'll see. So now I believe I should, I'm going to try and put these back here. Don't mind me wrestling. And it's okay. Because my dog, one of my dogs is right here. And she definitely snipping the stuff. Please don't sniff your butt though, Chloe. That's gross. But yeah, I, I don't want dog drool on my work stitch. That's just kind of gross. So anyway, on to birthday haul. My first is from Miss Hanan, my fellow misfit. She, of course, I think pretty much everybody went on my one, two, three wish list. And she got me a year in chalk, sleep under the stars. Because I love little campers. And this is just glorious. And she also got me the floss for it. Now one of the, uh, the this is, yeah, this is gassed. So she had a little bit of sunflower left, so she's gave me her extra sunflower. And I'm totally okay with that because you use just like a couple stitches of it. And then she got me the chalk color. Yeah, it's a lot of glare. Good lord. But yeah, it's chalk color. We'll go with that. And the other one she got me was Lunation by Ink Circles. Now this one, I'm totally going to change these colors up. Just because those colors don't scream moon to me. I don't know. I think maybe I should use that honor flag blue as part of this, but I'm definitely going to change that puppy up there. I'm going to love it. And I'm trying to look for the needle minder that she got me. She got me a needle minder too. Let me see if I put it on my board here. I don't think I did. But you know me. I forget things. No, it's probably at the bottom of my bag here somewhere. So, as I pull stuff out, we'll find it. It's a surprise. So, let's see. Okay, this is this is still more non-birthday stuff, but still birthday month, so we'll count that. Uh, I believe it was Courtney is Crafty on Instagram was destashing a few things, and I took a look, and she has great taste. So, I grabbed a couple patterns, including a whale. I was thinking this might be cute for our next Rao Sal read along stitch along because we're talking about doing Moby Dick, Moby Richard as I like to call him, the more PG version, and whales, whales, stitching whales, and reading about whales sounds pretty legit to me. The next one I got is To the Moon because it has a witch, and look at that creepy moon face. That is a good creepy moon face. I don't actually know if I'll do this all in one color. But I have another one like this, too. These Dames of the Needle ones, where it's witches and moons. I love these. Those are so great. And then I also, this thing is so popular on Bewitched Stitches right now. It's kind of crazy. But the Lizzie Kate Nevermore, she had a copy of it. And I'm like, I'm not big into Lizzie Kate's. I think the only other Lizzie Kate I have, well, I have the Prayer of St. Francis that Hanan got me from Stitch Away um, from the freebie table and then I also have a coffee one. Uh, most of the other ones I'm not I don't really feel but this little guy speaks to me. I guess it's because you know Halloween -y and you know a little, little dark and stuff so I had to get that one as Miss Courtney's crafty was destashing. So thank you very much Courtney. You are awesome. So now I go on to what my wonderful husband tech guy got me. He also went on my one, two, three stitch wish list. The first thing he got me was Country Cottage Needleworks Main Street Coffee Shop. Because if you know me and you know my love of most caffeinated beverages, coffee and tea are my things. Let me take this out here and see if I can show you. There we go. I might, I, I don't know how I feel about a peach coffee house. So that might be getting changed up too. <laughs> But I can't wait to work on these, mainly because that MFE sounds huge, and so I think I need to work on some small stuff. I need to, I need to slow my pace a bit here. I think that might make me a bit happier. Let's see, what else did the husband get me? I'm trying to show these in order, and it's not quite working because I just kind of threw them all together. Here we go. This is one. 
my loving husband got me. And this is French Woolens by Plum Street Samplers. I think I'm going to change this to French Woolens, St. Annie's Woolens, and then stitch this up because it needs totally needs to go in my craft room with all my woolens because I knit too. In case I never noticed that, in case I've never mentioned that before, I probably do every single video. That's okay. So French Woolens. And then he also got me a Prairie School, or I've thought about this one for a long time, the Blackwork Angels. Let me see here. Minimal glare. There we go. Blackwork Angels. This is book 103. And I think this is one of those I may not do it in the black and gold. I may gussy this up a bit because I think angels need to need to be more poppin', you know, more glorious. I don't know if I was an angel. I'd probably. I don't know. What do I know about being an angel? <laughs> So the last one that my dear husband got me, because I had talked about this, I saw this when Nan and I met up with Miss Sherry Stitching with the Dachshund down in Needleworks in Copper's Cove. I saw this and then I put it back and it's, it was kind of bothering me for a while because they had so many cool patterns there, but I was like, I think my bill was already over 100, so I'm like, I need to, I need to slow my roll and put something back and pace myself. But this one, it's been bothering me for a while, so I'm like, okay. I, I decided a couple months later I really want it. I've been thinking about it too much. So he went up and bought it for me. This is Ink Circles, the Big Red Ship of Life. Look at this glorious thing. There are all sorts of critters on here, peoples. It's a ship. My husband loves ships. I, I love ships too, but he particularly loves ships. And it has like little sea monsters. Um, looks like some turtles. I mean, there is everything on here. And they say it's a stitch tribute to the beautiful antique tampon ship cloth weavings of Sumatra. So I know Ink Circles came out with um, Forests of Sumatra and Dragons of Sumatra this year for um, for Nashville Market. So I might get those later, but I just, I absolutely love this big red ship of life. This is crazy. Uh, now, if I'm complaining about MFE Sal, y'all don't talk to me about when I'm going to start this. But I will. I think I'm going to focus on MFE Sal and then maybe towards the beginning of next year, maybe start to kit up Big Red Ship of Life. Because um, I know a lot of people are into the Death by Cross Stitch by Long long Dog Samplers. I need to be really careful how I say that. That could go that could go south really quickly, guys. But And I like Death by Cross Stitch. I really do. But for some reason, this, this Big Red Ship of Life really speaks to me. And I already, I believe I want to do it on the uh, Picture This Plus doubloon. I was showing my husband that, and he, he said that that looks perfect for this pattern. So I think I'm going to do that. So my husband is wonderful, and he buys me all the things that I want. Well, not all of them. I won't let him do that because I'm too stingy. I'm too cheap. But he tries to get me all the things. So my next present is from my wonderful... Friend Maggie, Craft in Korea. Did I mention her already? Yes, I did. She she is she's one of my friends. Um, we met back in when we, it was my last year at UTD, finishing up my first bachelor's, and we worked together. And I called I called it I called it Twan Sweatshop. So it it was nowhere near a sweatshop. It was just a work study for um, in the computer lab for the School of Management. Pretty easy job overall, but we got a lot of time to talk, and um, and of course I have knitting everywhere I go. If I if I wasn't doing homework, I brought my knitting with me to try and catch up on. So I kind of drug people into it, into my my disturbing crafty life. <laughs> so we've been friends pretty much ever since. She moved to Korea a few years ago for work, so it was kind of hard to kind of hard to talk there for a while, but we finally got back together when we started, me and Hanan started doing floss tube together, so it was fun. So I'm glad to have her back. Um, she might actually come visit us this year. Might bring her boyfriend. I'm kind of, I'm worried about him, guys. I don't know how, I don't know how he's going to react to us crazy misfits, but that's okay. We like everybody. It, it's just a matter of if they like us. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, Miss Maggie knows how much I both like Halloween and moon stuff. 
and I had seen this pattern on Stitchery Express, the Facebook group, which is a great group to order stuff from. I, I love those ladies. But she got me Beneath the Harvest Moon by Whispered by the Wind. Look at that. It's so creepy. I love it. Now, this pattern is awesome by itself, right? But you need to see the fabric that she got me, too. The fabric is going to help make this whole thing. Let me take it out there. Oh, I found the needle minder I, that Hanan got me. I knew I would. So I'll show that in a minute. But the fabric that Miss Maggie got for me, it's this. It is a printed moon. Look at that moon. And then from some other people that have stitched this scarecrow piece, they put it like right over the moon, like kind of center his head on the moon. And it, it just looks amazing. So that way you don't have to stitch the moon on the pattern, but it has this beautiful full moon in the background. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Maggie. You chose very well. <laughs> it's like you know me or something. It's strange. So let me put this back. Do, do, do. I know people don't like rustling, but again, I'm not sure I want my dogs licking my fabric right now. Kind of weird. <laughs> but they are weird dogs. Okay. That's not quite going in there as quickly as I'd like. Come on now. There we go. Got it. So, the needle minder that Hanan got me is <laughs> the Munsters. I love the Munsters. I actually got the whole season sometime last year, a few months before Halloween. And we were over stitching late one night. And her husband came by, and we still had the Munsters on, and he was completely entranced by it. Like, he couldn't turn away. And I, I asked her husband, I'm like, did you watch this as a kid? Because, I mean, I watched, I watched the reruns as a kid, and it was fun. And he's just like, no. And um, he's, he, he, was, he grew up in, he born and grew up in India. But, you know, a, a lot of us have the same... You know, they had TVs over there and stuff, but I guess they just didn't do reruns of the Munsters. So, it was something new for him. Which is awesome. The Munsters are great, aren't they? So, let me see what else I have. This is not a... This wasn't a birthday purchase. This was a little something. I had ordered this from my LNS um, Creative Stitches over here in Dallas. Just because I saw the copy they had, the, the sample they had. They didn't have the pattern, and I couldn't go on Primitive Hair's Etsy shop to get the download. Because I, I really prefer the downloads. Um, if you have a small house like me, and it's already mostly overrun by craft stuff and books and pets, you, you kind of have to reduce, you know, conserve space as much as possible. But I just had to get this pattern called The Devil Runs. And if anybody watches um, McKenna stitching in sequence she did she she stitched this and she did a great finish with the floating frame and burning and you know i like to set things on fire who doesn't you know but it says when the thunder breaks the silence the devil runs across the skies that's pretty cool a little creepy too so i finally they, it, it took them a few weeks to get in because i guess they had to order it from italy and actually reading the information on it i think it's actually designed by another person and then the primitive hair published it for her so i think maybe that's why it's not available for download but they ordered it for me it took like a month and then they called me for it so i i appreciate that they did that for me they're pretty awesome so what next i just have a couple more thingamajigs oh here's my i actually do have my needle punch here it's the, it's, I think it's Cameo brand, but it's the Ultra, Ultra Punch, and it has, like, three different little needles in there. So, working at Punch Needle, it's not too bad. I was really, honestly, confused, because I'm like, when you punch it, isn't it just, like, can't you just pull it and it yanks out? But... Apparently it doesn't, and the way it works is because the whole fabric, like, because you're going to cover pretty much the whole fabric with with floss with little punches and stuff but because of the weave of the fabric it all kind of locks it in and keeps it pretty secure so it's it's the stuff I punched is not coming out so I guess that that was the confusing part for me I was just like how how is it staying in place but 
trust me, it apparently does. So, awesome. So, my last few things, these are presents I purchased for me. Because you should always treat yourself. So, during my lunch break, I went to Barnes & Noble and was looking around. And I came across, I've been wanting this book for a while. But it's the Japanese Knitting Stitch Bible. Did I mention I knit? I do knit, actually. But Japanese stitches, now most Japanese patterns, they just have charts, which is awesome. And instead of, like, you don't have to actually understand much Japanese to be able to read most Japanese knitting patterns. But some of the, especially some of the, the lace and the the cable patterns are just so intricate. It's it's really interesting some of the things that um, Japanese knitwear designers have designed. So I had been looking at this book for a while and just decided to splurge and go ahead and get it for me. So so I can play with stitches. And another thing I got, I always get sucked in by these little little box kits, especially if they're on sale. So I was like, hmm, huh, so boho. What's so boho? It's a little embroidery kit that has some you know, little boho designs and everything. It comes with the iron-on patterns and some floss and, you know, a wooden hoop that I probably will only use to frame, but still. It, it wasn't too badly priced, and it came with some patterns so I can play more with actual embroidery as opposed to just cross-stitch, which is cross-stitch and knitting is mainly what I do right now. And then my last one is my sister Holly... She went to Kiyokuniya, which is a Japanese bookstore we have here in Carrollton. And they also have a lot of just fun gifts and everything like that. So she saw this towel and thought of me. It's not cross-stitch related, but it's hilarious. It's buns. <laughs> it says, hot buns are ready. And look at the guy, how he's standing. Is that how you stand to get buns out of the oven? Because I don't do that. <laughs> he's been He's been working on his squats there. That's crazy. But there's all sorts of things in buns in the oven. And then sweet buns. And then buns buns. And tasty buns. So this is totally not going to get used as a towel. This, this is art here. This is going to get hung up in the kitchen. It's just a decoration. Because it's buns related. So... She also got me a mug, which when my fellow misfit, Hanan, and I get back together and we do another tea, coffee, whatever type review, then I will show you that. It's a, it's a Legend of Zelda mug, so I'll save that for then. So that is the extent of my birthday haul. I had a wonderful birthday. Um, you can see one of our birthday activities, or one of my birthday activities that we did on our Instagram at stitchin.misfits. And, um, yeah, I had a great time. We we went to the range. We went to um, Bistro B, which is one of my favorite Vietnamese slash Pan-Asian restaurants. And then just had some cake at 85C. So, had a great birthday. Um, my plans going forward, MFE South and watermelon socks. I'm going to try and stick with it because that's what I committed to for Mania. And just see how far I can get on that. I do. I did pick up my block of the month, my Christmas block of the month, from our local quilt store, not your mama's quilt store. So in a few weeks, I'm going to work on that and try and get that done so it's ready for the next month when I have to go pick up the next one. And other than that, just try and relax for a bit. I'm not taking classes at the moment. I might start that up again in a few weeks, just depending on some factors. Um, so I might do that, but for right now, I at least have a little bit of a break. Um, not from the rest of my life, though. Still work and still have, you know, all sorts of other crap to do, as as I think everybody's life is. But anyway, that's where we are now. Um, Shoutouts, I have actually started watching Michelle Cozy Egg, and she's apparently, I think she lives right down the street from me, and I just started watching her, so I'm a little behind there, but love her stuff. She's doing um, 
600 days of Chatelaine, Chatelaine. I'll have to ask my sister Holly, because my sister Holly's fluent in French, and so I don't know if it's Chatelaine or Chatelaine or whatever. But anyway, so she's making me curious about, I need to look into these Chatelaines and see if there's one that I want to do. Or if it's going to be like Hades, in which a lot of people are doing them, but I just I just don't feel much interest towards. Um, just no just no pictures or patterns that have really spoken to me for Heaven and Earth designs. So I'll take a look at that. Um, I also watch Gigi and Stitches. Um, her daughter's really really cute. Uh, does sign language for her videos, so that's really nice. You know, try to try to make things as accessible as possible. For as many people as possible. I'm always for that. Um, let's see who else. Watching Dark Side Stitcher and all of my usuals. Crafting Korea, Stitching with a Dachshund, Miss Crafty Angie. Miss Crafty Angie doing her 31 whips during Mania. Uh, I wish I wish I could actually work on something else, but I committed to it. I need to focus. That's what I do, right? I need to focus. But no, there's all sorts of other things that look cool, but I need to focus. I'm trying to focus, 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 focus. Anyway, I should let y'all go, but the Misfits will be back eventually, probably in, probably in, honestly, a couple months, but I might, each of us might record something, um, just to keep things going, and we're also still going to be active on Instagram and in our Facebook group, which is Texas Stitchers. Feel free to look us up and join us. Um, you can also follow me on, on Instagram. I'm Hayate Lelouch. Um, that name, no, I don't use my real name too much on social media. It's just, it's not smart. Um, I learned that when I was taking some classes from a, from a CPA and he was saying if it's if it's one of those things if you ever want to go for your CPA license which I may one day I'm still I'm still undecided on um, you know some states actually look into that stuff and uh, and they do have their research on social media for you so I try not to use my real name as much as possible I mean Annie's not going to tell you much but um, but I still try not to use it so I combined two anime characters names and I'm Hayate Lelouch so that's pretty much the reason behind that name but anyway you can look me up on Instagram um it's a private account but if you're cross stitch related I'll I'll accept you I'm not that picky um so yeah follow us uh join Texas Stitchers we're planning some good stuff this summer including a smalls exchange and we're talking about doing a wild wandering stitchy box which is kind of a, a pass around thing. Hanan and I are gonna start it and then send it to the next person. They take they take a few they take a few things out, put a few things back in, pass it to the next person. So that I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, looks like we have quite a few people who are interested in that, so I think we'll have fun with that. So feel free to join us. Um, in the meantime, happy stitching and the misfits will be seeing you soon. Bye.